Those were protesters at the Ohio State House earlier today after the Republican-controlled House voted to dramatically cut collective bargaining rights for 350,000 public workers. And just in, in the past hour, the bill passed the Ohio Senate 17 to 16. It will now be sent to Republican Governor John Kasich for him to sign. The bill will destroy nearly 30 years of workers' rights in Ohio, affecting health care, pension, and sick time. The former Fox News host was asked earlier about his so-called change agenda. Change is hard. You know, I don't know if you notice my, my new good haircuts that I've been getting since the election. You know, when my wife said I need a new barber, it made me very nervous. Um, that's a barber cutting my hair. When you're dealing with real change, and when, um, when the headlines every day are about change, it, it unsettles people. While Governor Kasich makes light of the situation, here's how his kind of real change will affect one firefighter in Columbus, Ohio. I think it's going to tear my family apart. Uh, I didn't know when John Kasich said he was creating jobs in Ohio, he meant I was going to have to get a second. Joining me now is Ohio State Senator Nina Turner. Welcome to the program again tonight, Senator. The bill passed the Senate by one vote. Uh, were you expecting that outcome? Yes, Ed, unfortunately, and thank you for having me. I hate that we have to keep meeting this way. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, um, it, it's absolutely a shame. I am really glad that the same 16 who voted against this bill the first time held. And it's ironic, Ed, for all the rhetoric that this bill is going to create jobs and create big opportunities, no one other than the sponsor of the bill on the side of the folks who support this bill got up to say a mumbling word. It is absolutely unconscionable, full-out, all-out assault on middle class. Ohioans. Senator T uh, Turner, look look at this videotape, if you can. I mean, the, the people of Ohio are absolutely outraged by this. Their passion, their emotion. What are the ramifications here? What are they going to do? How are they going to deal with this? Well, they should be outraged, Ed. All Americans should be outraged, all Ohioans. This is not a collective bargaining bill. This is a collective begging bill. But we have resigned ourselves in the state of Ohio to take this to the people, to the citizens of this state, who overwhelmingly, even in the latest poll, have said that the Ohio workers have, should have the right to collectively so bargain. So what about a referendum? How does it work in Ohio? Can you reverse this? Yes, the people can. We are going to put a referendum on the ballot. We need over 231,000 votes across a minimum of 44 counties in this state, and we are going to get this done and make sure that we restore middle class rights. You know, collective bargaining means two people can come to the table as equals. This bill is nothing more than a sham and an assault against working class men and women in this state, both public and private sector. We will take this to the people. Well, the governor says change is tough. He's going to find out because I think your folks there in Ohio are going to turn this thing around. It's going to be a story to follow. Thank you, Senator Nina Turner. I appreciate you joining us tonight.